Well, is red tide a concern for the Panhandle's beautiful beaches? Recent pictures of dead fish washing up on Panama City Beach of many fearing the worst. News 13's Kelly Grossfield spoke with FWC and tells us if we will see an impact. Red tide is making headlines and killing marine life off the coast of Florida. The current red tide status report shows the algae bloom present from Collier to Pinellas County. But what about the Florida panhandle? We're just sitting there and it's such a beautiful day and the dolphins have gone down uh, by the sandbar and next thing I know, dead fish are washing up. Wanda Scott says she visits Panama City Beach every year, but this year was different. Sunday, she was at the beach near Public Access Point 45 when she saw dead fish washing up on shore. We thought it was plastic floating in the water, so I waited out to get it, and when I got to it, it was a dead fish. I noticed people down close to the pier were coming out of the water, and then it just like, by groves, they were coming in, just one after the other after the other, and I thought, and everybody started getting out of the water. We reached out to FWC, and they say that K. Brevis, the organism responsible for the tides, was observed at very low concentrations in a sample collected in St. Andrews Bay last week. But they say there was not a bloom present in this area as of September 7th. Visitors like Dane Butterfield, who have seen the worst of red tide in Pretty Fort Myers, say past, it's not just impacting sea life. I would get close to the beach, I'd notice a cough in my, some of my throat, and uh, it took me a day or two before I asked other people staying where we were, you know, why, why am I coughing? And they explained to me the, the red tide and how it was affecting, you know, the beach. FWC says they'll continue to monitor the water and take weekly samples. In Panama City Beach, Kelly Grossfield, News 13.